Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite Linux distros that's out there. I get a lot of flack in my comments sometimes, well not a lot, a little bit, from people that go, here you go again saying a great Linux distribution. Are all of them great? Do you never have negative things to say about any of the Linux distributions? And I really do. I've said some negative things about Linux distributions, but in general, there are quite a few out there that I do like, and this is one of them, Maybox Linux. Now, one of the reasons I like Maybox is because it is based on Manjaro, but for some reason, it doesn't have all the issues that Manjaro has. I don't know if it's because it's not being used in a KDE or a GNOME environment, or that the developers have actually taken the time to fix the bugs and take a lot of the issues out and then put Openbox on top of it so we can just have fun with the distribution and get work done. This is the August ISO refresh. Now we are at their website, mayboxlinux.org. I'll be sure to put that in the description below. And if you come up here, it just says Maybox Linux is fast, lightweight. It's a functional desktop. It's rolling release. It's Manjaro based with Openbox Window Manager. But like I did say, it doesn't seem to have all the bugs that Manjaro has. And if you come over here, you've got a few screenshots. Come down here, it lets you know it's lightweight and fast, fresh software, stable. You can donate to support them. And they've added something this time. Let's meet Colorizer. We're going to go over that here real quick because I really like it and I think you will too. And then you've got quick tiling, side panels and menus. And then you scroll down and it's just got some news and things like that. Then if you go up top, you've got home, news, user guide, about, forum, and donate. But Maybox Linux, they have a really good website and the distribution itself is pretty impressive. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and close out of Fire Dragon. Let's go ahead and close. So we're going to come right over here to GNOME Boxes. Let's open it up because that's where I have Maybox running. And let's go full screen. Now if you download it, throw it on a USB or open it in a virtual environment, this is the screen you're met with. Right over here you've got a conky. Let you know date, time, things like that. And then down here, let you know how much memory and disk usage you have going right now. At present, I've got 1.93 gigabytes of RAM issued to this virtual machine. We're using about 397 at rest. So you can keep track of everything over there and then it lets you know you're using 22.08 or both. Uptime's been six minutes, 52 seconds. Kernel version's 5.15.60. You got the LTS kernel that you're using right there. And I do believe you can also download a 5.4 version. Don't let me fib to you. Let's go back over here. Let me open up my downloads because I think I downloaded both of them actually. 5.15 and then 5.4. You can see it right there in the description. It says Linux 5.4, Linux 5.15. So you can actually get two LTS versions of it. So if you download 5.15 and it doesn't work out for you, you can also try 5.4. I like that. They give you the older long-term kernels to choose from. Now, if you come down to the bottom, Maybox has what I call a nice little cheat sheet down here. Got a lot of keyboard commands, and some of them might be what you're used to, and some of them might not. But I like the fact that they do put them down here so you have quick access to them. Everything from terminal all the way down to go to desktop, super key plus that, and then you've got windows where you can alt F4 to close, and then, you know, iconify, whatever you want to do down here, you've got a little cheat sheet that you can use. And then menus and side panels what you can do inside the menus and side panels. Now, what it means by menus and side panels, let's go up here first. Up top, you're going to have a split area, or you've got a panel up here that's got transparency, you've got some applications over here, and then you've got a little area over here that's got your internet, camera, date and time, and of course power. Now, if you see this little arrow right here, you just click on it, and it pops this up, okay? You've got a lot of different things right here. Right off the bat, you've got settings. You've got Maybox Control Center. So let's go ahead and open it up and check that out. And when you open this up, it gives you a lot of different options and changes and things that you can do with the system. Just like system and hardware settings, you've got locale settings, language packages, kernel, user accounts, time and date, mouse and keyboard, hardware config. Then you've got A Rander, LX Rander, and then Neo Fetch and BTOP. Now, it doesn't have B H top. it's got B-Top, and if you click on B-Top, let's open that up. Kind of gives you a breakdown here of all of your CPU threads. 
And then over here, it'll break down your RAM, total RAM, used RAM, available, cached, and free. But I still, I still like HTOP, but I like the way this breaks things down. So I may play around with it and, and use it on a daily basis and just see, compared to HTOP, if I like it or not. I do like the fact that these don't jump around as much and I can get a better view of what's being used inside the terminal without all these changing position every 2.3 seconds, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then you've got software. Install popular applications. If you click on that, you'll have a window pop up that gives you the option to install whatever browsers you might want, or email, or ebook editors, or whatever. You can come down through here and just basically pick all the applications that you want to install. You can come over here, click Blender, click GIMP, click Inkscape, Krita, and then in one fell swoop, you can update the system and install all of these applications. And that is definitely something I like that's in Maybox Linux. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then you've got preferred applications, you've got add and remove software, and you've got software update. Now, if you click on add and remove software, it's PayMac. If you're familiar with Manjaro or just using some Arch distributions that come with PayMac in general, you can pretty much add whatever you need to here. So let's go over here. First thing you wanna do is go to preferences, go to third party, and go ahead and enable AUR support, which is your Arch user repository. Or if you're somebody that uses something like Fedora, it would be equivalent to RPM Fusion. And then we want to check updates, go to general. And we can go ahead and close out of that. And then you can go over here and do searches and install your software. And then you've got software update. You've got auto start. You can select items to put into auto start or remove them. Look and feel. This is something that uh, there's been a little bit of talk about what they've done in this release of Maybox Linux. They have something called Colorizer, which I think is pretty impressive. I'm going to go ahead and open it up right now and kind of show you how it works. Let's go ahead and double click that. If you look over here, you kind of got a dark theme to your conky. You got a dark theme to your Colorizer window. So I'm going to close it real quick and I'm going to show you what we're doing here. If you notice these themes for the conky, and for the colorizer window. Let's go ahead and close that. Now I wanna change the wallpaper, but I'm not gonna use it from right here. I wanna pull it up over here because I wanna be able to get access to it really quick and close it really quick. So if you look in the bottom left corner, I can scroll through different wallpapers down here. Okay, you can pick a wallpaper. I'm gonna go with something like that. Let's go ahead and pick that. Then I'm gonna escape. Now, when I open up the colorizer, you'll see that the, the windows have changed their theme to match the wallpaper that's in the background. Now, I know people are going to say this isn't a big deal, but you can actually go up here and kind of change and play with this a little bit. Like if you go to regenerate, if you want to reverse and have light themes on your conky and then a dark theme on this, you can just go up here. Click reverse, and it gives you a light theme on that, a darker theme on this, or you can go back to the way it was configured, and then that changes, and then you can come over here and come down, menus and panels, do you want no light background, do you want with dark background, you can kind of go with dark, and then we can come back over here, and then we can go menu panels, and you can change that up if you want to. So it's really... Just a fun way that if you really want to customize your Maybox install, you can have quite a bit of fun doing that. So if you do give Maybox a try and you go download it, please zip on over and check Colorizer out. I'm going to tell you right now, last night I played around with this a little bit and I got lost changing colors and customizing for about an hour and a half. So I think you'll definitely enjoy it. So let's go ahead and pull this back up so we can see what's going on. Then you've got tint to panel, you got conky, you got menu panels compositor themes and help now a lot of people i know they're kind of scared to leap off into open box because they think it takes a lot of time to get set up honestly i like the way open box is set up out of the box i might want to tweak some colors here and there but other than that it's just easy for me to use so we're going to come down here you've got system and hardware if you look right here that's a lot of the settings we just had in our previous maybox control center Oh, it closed on me. Then you've got look and feel, system update, 
Paymac, Renew Key Rings, Maybox User Guide, Maybox Forum, Keyboard Shortcuts, Screenshot Tool. Pretty easy. You just lift that up. Pick what you want to take a screenshot of, full screen, active, or select your area. So if you select your area, just select it. Boom, it takes your screenshot. You're good to go. Come down here, you got configure, log out, suspend, hibernate, lock, shut down, configure options. And then if you just right click on the desktop, you've got install Maybox, terminal, and remove software, WW browser, which is just Firefox, Maybox config. And then you've got all your accessories, clip it, file manager. And you do have a lot of applications out of the box, but not what I would call bloat. In development, you've got Genie, graphics, color picker, flame shot, GPIC, image magic. Multimedia, you got Audacious, MPV Video Player, Internet. Like I said, you got Firefox, Advanced Network Config, Settings. We've already looked at the Settings System. Add Remove Software, BTOP, Maybox Linux Control Center, Key Binding, Screenshot, Lock Screen, Exit. And then you come back over here, and what you have pinned up top here is your main menu, and then your Show Desktop, then your File Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. It's a nice, simple File Manager. Stays out of your way so you can get work done. Let's go ahead and move this over here and let's see what version this is. PC Man File Manager, and this is version 1.3.2. You got your usual suspects over here. You got your home folders right here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Terminal Emulator. Let's see if they do have HTOP, and they don't. So let's go BTOP. We've already looked at BTOP. Now I do know this. If we close that, you should have top. So if you don't like using BTOP, you can always use TOP. So there's your option there. Now right here, if we want to compare some numbers, we're using 461 megabytes of the 2 gigs I have issued, and that matches exactly with what we got going on with our Conkey over here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And then, of course, install Maybox. And let's click on the other arrow. You've got your main directory. This is your access to your file manager right here on your desktop. you got your home directory. you got downloads, docs, music, pictures, videos. Then you got your CMD palette, menu side panel. You can adjust these any way you want. Look at all these settings. Man, you can really get in get in here and have fun and really customize this desktop environment to work the way you want it to. Then you've got your wallpapers. You can do random wallpapers. You can generate wallpapers. You can also come down here and you can have a wallpaper directory and you can change this to go to your directory if you've got a folder that you already have a bunch of wallpapers in. And then Colorize, we've already looked at FS Search, Psy Radio, LX Task, BTOP, and then Weather. Click on it, you get a little nice terminal area here. Kind of shows you what your daily forecast is going to be. And then it lets you know what tomorrow's going to be and what Monday's going to be. So, And then, of course, if you do want to install it, it is the Calamares installer. I've had a lot of luck with Calamares. I do hear people every now and then that do have issues with it, but I never have. And that is pretty much a quick look at Maybox Linux. It is definitely a lightweight, powerful Linux distribution. And if you're looking for something a little different, something that isn't as heavy as a GNOME, or maybe you want to just give something other than XFCE a shot, I suggest you download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, and take it for a test drive. Is that something you might do? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a big favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me you can always unsubscribe if you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing you can support us by becoming a member here on youtube buying us a cup of coffee throwing us a donation on paypal or zipping on over and becoming a patron to the channel over on patreon those links will be in the description below as always thank you for watching my video and i will see you in the next video